Please be seated. <coughs> in a mana, in a rail, in a hurry farm, Tenakoto, Tenakoto. Tenakoto Kato. Vice Chancellor, Council members, members of the university, special guests, graduands, families, and friends, I extend a warm welcome to this, the sixth autumn graduation ceremony for 2012 of the University of Auckland. This week, the university is bestowing a total of 7,048 qualifications on some 6,862 students. At this ceremony, degrees will be conferred and diplomas awarded in the Faculty of Science, a total of 457 in person, plus a further 136 in absentia. As Chancellor, I am privileged to preside at graduation once more. The twice yearly cycle of graduation ceremonies makes them no less significant for the university and me personally, than for those of you being capped here today, many for the first and only time. Graduation is always a festive event, rich in history, pomp and colour, but with some endearing contemporary touches. Here in Auckland, our enviable mix of cultures and ethnicities is evident in the variety of dress and adornments worn by some graduates. Today is one of celebration, hard-earned and well-deserved by you, the graduates and diplomates, on your academic feats, and by your family and friends who have encouraged and supported you in good times and in bad, and who are here to rejoice in your success. <coughs> the university, represented by the council and academic staff members seated behind me, and those many professional staff who direct proceedings with unerring precision takes equal satisfaction in your hugely significant day. <clears throat> the University of Auckland is deservedly ranked as one of the best universities in the world. The qualifications bestowed on you today will always serve you well in this country and abroad, whether in qualifying you for a fulfilling career in or in leading to further challenging study, or simply for your own personal and intellectual enrichment. In today's world of constant and often bewildering change, you can never afford to stop learning and honing your skills and capabilities. So do keep in mind our ever-expanding range of postgraduate opportunities. The critical role of major research-led universities such as the University of Auckland in modern life is not always understood. Our cutting-edge research is vital for long-term sustainable economic growth and social development, never more so than in these globally uncertain economic times. Universities such as ours equip graduates like you not simply for the jobs of today, but for careers not yet imagined. The University of Auckland's aspirations for the period ahead and our responses to an increasingly constrained funding environment are comprehensive and demanding. 
they are taking shape in our draft strategic plan for 2013 to 2020. I encourage you to peruse this wide-ranging document on our website and let us have your feedback. I urge you as alumni of New Zealand's leading university always to remember your alma mater. We depend increasingly on our graduates for support, moral and political, as well as financial. This at a time when our country's universities receive the lowest income per student in the developed world. Your advocacy and influence are vital in encouraging government and the community at large to fund universities so they can generate the knowledge needed to drive a productive and competitive economy and to create full and satisfying lives for all New Zealanders. But that's enough for me on the challenges currently facing universities. For today is unquestionably your day. I warmly congratulate each and every one of you and trust that you will long cherish memories of your graduation in May 2012. Our speaker at this ceremony is Dr Dean Peterson, who is Manager, Research Funding at the Royal Society of New Zealand. The Royal Society is the body which has been advancing and promoting science, technology and the humanities in New Zealand since 1867. Dr Peterson was born in the USA, receiving his Bachelor of Science in Chemistry from Bradley University in Illinois and graduating from Michigan State University with a PhD in chemistry. He worked in atmospheric research for 10 years at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory USA and was co-program manager for the Upper Atmosphere Research Program at NASA. From June 1998 to July 2008, Dr. Peterson was science strategy manager for Antarctica New Zealand the government organisation in charge of Antarctic operations. He chaired the International Joint Committee on Antarctic D Data Management from 2001 to 2003. His current role at the Royal Society includes the management of the Marsden Fund, New Zealand's fundamental research fund. Dr Peterson. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of council, members of the university, graduates, families, and friends. This is a great honor for me to do, today to speak to you on this incredibly special day. When I was first asked to give this speech, I began to search the web for inspiration, I guess as many graduate students do. And I watched a number of very good talks on, but I quickly realized that the speech that I would give cannot be someone else's words, but my own words from my heart. So here we go. As you may have guessed my introduction with, from my introduction, I've lived an interesting life, from the forefront of science to the management of research. I've worked with some incredible people and have had many amazing opportunities. I'll start with a short story about discovery, talk briefly about leadership, and then tell you my little secret to life. After getting my PhD and struggling to find a job, I landed a postdoctoral position at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. I'd be working with a world famous scientist named Dr. Herbert Pickett. When I showed up for work, I was told that I'd be designing a new instrument uh, that Herb had been funded for, a spectrometer to measure hydroxyl radical in the atmosphere, and that's OH. I had no idea what I was doing or how to begin this task. To complicate things, the instrument had to fly in a helium balloon at 40 kilometers above the Earth. This meant that the instrument had to withstand temperatures of minus 80 degrees Celsius and very low pressures. The good news was that I had a whole year to design and make this thing before we had to fly with a, with a group from Harvard University. After speaking with Herb about the concept, I went down to the lab to meet the technician I'd be working with. Tim Crawford was his name. He met me with a huge smile, an even bigger handlebar mustache, and a gigantic ponytail. I actually thought I was looking at one of the first members of uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. 
But behind the good looks and probably too many garage bands was the mind of a genius. Tim was a wizard with design, Herb was a master of computer control and spectroscopy, and I just had to make it all work. So we worked every day that year. We spent a lot of nights making and breaking things, but the hardest part of the whole design was the movable resonator. Let me tell you what we were actually trying to do. OH radical emits at one particular wavelength, and the instrument was supposed to only see that wavelength. So our first task was to remove all other light from the detector's view. This was done with a series of filters, but once you had reduced the light down to a very precise range around that desired wavelength, we needed a way of scanning the instrument over that range. This is where the movable resonator comes in. After doing some calculations, we, we realized that we needed something to move 50 millionths of a meter or 50 microns, and we had to have control over that to about a half a micron, which is about a tenth of a red blood cell. So we began to panic at this point. The grant, we had the grant money in the bank. NASA was really excited about the instrument, but we only had six months left at this point to design and build and fly the instrument. So we started to think outside the box. We went through a lot of trials and prototypes, 11 to be exact, um, before we hit a great idea from none, other, from none other than Tim, our technician, our fabrication expert, our local musician. The idea was to use a speaker system in feedback to scan the resonator. This had the precision we needed, and with a few combinations, it finally worked. When we finally flew the instrument in Texas that spring, it was knocked out of alignment by a forklift right before the balloon launch, and the only thing we saw was the Earth. But after the first attempt, we did succeed to measure OH in the stratosphere and confirm some ap atmospheric models related to ozone destruction. As you're aware, I made the jump from scientist to manager, and after 10 years at JPL and NASA headquarters, I moved to New Zealand to take the role of science strategy manager for the Antarctic program. Let me take you to the Antarctic, into the white world, into one of the most beautiful places on Earth. In 2006, I had the privilege to take Sir Edmund Hillary to, to his base, Scott Base. We had two TV reporters, one print reporter, and three camera people with us for a total of seven days. This was a recipe for disaster if ever I saw one. We were concerned that the press would focus on the tabloid reporting at Scott Base and not the wonderful event that was about to take place. We came up with a number of ideas to keep the reporters busy, basically. And I was base manager at the time and was really happy with the busy agenda that we'd put together for the press. So with plenty of day trips scheduled, we were ready for the circus to begin. On the day the plane arrived, there wasn't a cloud in the sky and there wasn't a breeze in the air. It was a perfect day in Antarctica. And there was Sir Ed with a huge smile and all the energy of a big Labrador retriever. Along with Sir Ed was the press, Cliff Joyner, Mark Sainsbury, Tim Pankhurst. The first day was spent with briefings about safety, weather, base activities. The second day, the press were shuttled off to Antarctic field training away from the base. So I was left to spend the afternoon with Sir Ed. It was a magical day listening to Sir Ed recall the things he had done when building Scout Base, the crazy days of flying a small aircraft that had been strapped on the ship and reassembled down in the Antarctic. After a few test flights, they'd flew the aircraft over the dry valleys and onto the polar plateau. At breakfast next morning, I asked his opinion on how to deal with the press. I'll never forget what he said to me. He said, treat them like people until they prove otherwise. <laughs> we can make things a lot more complicated if we want, but sometimes easiest is best. After, my short dis after our short discussion, I, dis I decided to take Sir Ed's advice and work with the press. And guess what? It all worked out perfectly, and we had an excellent time that week. Sir Ed showed me what leadership was really all about that morning. So now let me tell you my little secret to life. Don't be afraid of failure. Don't be afraid of losing control. And enjoy all the world can offer. I learned at JPL, when you aim for the sky, that failure is normal, expected, and even rewarded. I learned from Sir Ed that leadership is about letting others show you their value by allowing them 
the freedom to express themselves. And I learned from all my life experiences that we only get this opportunity to live in this world once. So why not enjoy it? Why not really do what inspires you? So today, you are all here graduating and about to embark on the world with your new e-ticket, your new certificate of value, your new degree. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dr. Peterson, for some inspiring reminiscences. This is a meeting of council in convocation of the university for a ceremony of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. At this ceremony, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Stuart McCutcheon, and I will be conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. I now invite the Vice Chancellor to award the diplomas and confer the degrees in the first half of this ceremony. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Stuart McCutcheon, Vice-Chancellor, award the diplomas and confer the degrees stated upon those who, within the Faculty of Science, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon an Associate Dean of the Faculty of Science, Mrs Goldstone, to present graduands in that faculty. Vice-Chancellor, as Associate Dean, I have the honour of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Science. To the degree of Bachelor of Science. Peter Colin Charles Gilbert. <laughs> Rosamond Bernadette Navarres Guillermo. Zoe Louise Hallahan. Ayrton Ravens Clyde Hamilton. Nicola Robin Hamling. Elizabeth Rose Hammond. Terry Hahn. William Kessel Harris. <laughs> Charles Hassano. <laughs> Bianca Simone Hartley. <laughs> Isaac Rene Harvey. <laughs> Nadia Tina Harvey. Naha James Ian Hearn Desri Yan He Lorian Ann Hayes May Alexandra Thompson Hensman Mariah Glover Herman. <laughs> Ahmed Halali. <laughs> Misha Gardner Hill. <laughs> Hannah Holtkamp. <laughs> Nicole Clara Horsford. Sung Han Se, <laughs> Yu Chuan Hu Tzu, <laughs> Kong Ling Huang, 
Wei Chung Fuang. Yunling Huang. Andrew James Hudson. Michaela Rose Hutchinson. Batul Samara Iqbal. Nikola Ivansevich. Darcy Kendall Rose Jacker. Hayden Arden Jackson. Sarah Michelle James. Ross McLaren Jamison. Yuan Sung Zhang. Manali Crisel Sansona Hauragay. Sanchini Kausalia Jayaratne. <laughs> Liam Mark Jeffries. <laughs> Celeste Daniela Jeffs. <laughs> Yang Xing Jiang. <laughs> Yuli Jin. Nicole Ashley Joe. <laughs> Jessica Jong Go with Slastro. <laughs> Seung Mo Jung. <laughs> Ophir Abigail Karen. <laughs> Sung Warani Anapama Karen. Karuna Ratney. <laughs> Nadine Kassid. <laughs> Aaron Thomas Katona. <laughs> Emma Jane Folkart Kearney. <laughs> Bryce Burnett Tahora Kiho. Karen Brenda Kennedy. <laughs> Thomas Edmund Kerr Phillips. <laughs> Rakesh Deepak Kesha. <laughs> Graham Kelly Keys. <laughs> Kaya Ada Kaya Razia Khan. <laughs> Jia Yuan Kim. <laughs> John Hojin Kim. <laughs> Wan Suk Kim. <laughs> James Duncan Kinneberg White. Taylor Lindsay Knight. Sarah Lee Knotzer. Andrea Pearl Kernan. Emma Rebecca Colby. Michael Caswara. Christina Elizabeth Kravanek. <laughs> Roman Kumar. <laughs> Chanel Shivani Kumar. <laughs> Tse Fung Kwang. <laughs> Louise Kwok. 
Yinting Lai. Victoria Mingwei Lam. Guyan Lang. Stephen James Langdon. Francisco, Francisco Xavier Laudis. Senior Scholar in Science, Patricia Rowena Larson. Akinesi Maureen Lato. Donna Emmy Lau. Stephen Robert Leach. Yuan Ji Lee. Gahua Lee. Hai Xiong Lee. Jeremy Lee. Seong Nam Lee. Su Wang Lee. Ryan. Ryan Michael Leach. Lucas Carol Lewandowski. <laughs> Kinto Garfield Kohe Lewis. <laughs> Heng Lee. <laughs> Tony Zhu <Zhirli>. Lee. <laughs> Yong Zheng Lee. Dylan Xiao Xiong Liang. Huang Ian Lim. Kurt Michael Lim. Sei Wai Lim. Alan Lowe. Xiao Chen Lu. <laughs> Sonia Kai Ni Luan. <laughs> Miriam Robin Ludbrook. <laughs> Heidi Ching Ni Lu. <laughs> Rose Luti. Ji Wei Lai. <laughs> Richard Lai. <laughs> Susanna Maria Lies. <laughs> Tom Jin Ma. Twyla Jade McDonald. Mark Samuel McDougall. Amanda Danukshi Mahabagay. Rachel Wiley Mack. Anya Malhotra. Cassandra Jane Mark. 
Jordan Charles Markham. <laughs> Joshua Sean Marshall. <laughs> Anne Evelyn Martin. <laughs> Jesse Paul Martin. <laughs> Zachariah Sam Martin. Tanished Luke Brito Martin. <laughs> Sean Allen McArdle. Yeah, buddy. Amber Lee Ellis McCambridge. <laughs> Andrew James Kent McIntyre Robinson. <laughs> Joseph Ocean McKenna. Sarah Joanna McKenzie. <laughs> Hetty Hamalago Yuditha Priyankara Bandara Magola. <laughs> Guy Stephen Mexted. <laughs> Keith Logan John Milburn. James Robert Miller. <laughs> Nicholas Christian Byron Mil Milosevic. <laughs> Brittany Ann Mitchell. <laughs> Mo Mohammed Sarafik Mohammed Suleiman. Tyler John Crosby Moore. <laughs> Campbell James Morehouse. <laughs> Drutti Has Mark Mora. <laughs> Alexander John Moulton. <laughs> Jennifer May Muller. Brooke Carol Mullins. <laughs> Helen Claire Murray. Yeah! Kamesh Nadai Do. <laughs> Chanel Pratishna Metnair. <laughs> Hannah Namak. Namrata Priyanath. <laughs> Casey Ann Neeson. <laughs> Stephanie Madeline Nelson. <laughs> Maria Mikhailovna Denaro Kovna. Senior Scholar Psychology, Tamsin Marine Yaw. <laughs> Kent Penghin Ng. <laughs> Rowanna Ng. <laughs> Samuel David Nickel. <laughs> Ga Ching Twinkle Nip. Zaina Moshera Nisa. <laughs> Kevin Peter Norris. <laughs> Emma Stephanie Nunn. <laughs> Francis Michelle Oliver. <laughs> Joanne Su Yun Ong. Anna Teresa O'Sullivan. Yes, Molly. Justine Elizabeth Patterson. <laughs> Nicktish Pandey. Aaron
Karen Han Park, <laughs> So Young Park, <laughs> Sun Wong Park, <laughs> Si Yun Park, <laughs> Yi Shin Park. Brian Ishan Hefford Parks, <laughs> Samuel Harrell Passmore, <laughs> Dara Rajnakant Patel, <laughs> Naaman Sandeep Kumar Patel, <laughs> Rupal Hadshadri Patel. Sheshakant Babubai Patel. <laughs> Savani Yasmin Patel. <laughs> Tijal Patel. <laughs> Vibhuti Garishbai Patel. So the Associate Dean of the Faculty of Science, Dr. Brennan, will present further graduates in the Faculty of Science. To the degree of Bachelor of Science, Mark Jeffrey Patterson. <laughs> Nicholas Kevin Pearson. Xian Xuan Alan Peng. <laughs> Kotapili Arachige Marijit Chaitia Pereira. <laughs> Mahawa Taje Ana Ishani Pereira. <laughs> Charlotte Eliza Rutier Perry. Adam Frederick Phipps. <laughs> Alex Shima Pivak. <laughs> Laura Margaret Paletti. <laughs> Tanya Nairi Eva Ruby Poppy. <laughs> Gareth Maxwell Powell. Kartika Prasad. <laughs> Richard Aaron Priest. <laughs> Ivasi Preva. <laughs> Natasha Lee Prendergast. <laughs> Jared Basil Prinsloo. Lu Chu, <laughs> Rachel Kwok, <laughs> Han Xiong Kwa, <laughs> Michael Nicholas Radich, <laughs> Gail Jane Radley. Niranjana Raghunathan. <laughs> Lelia Elizabeth Rye. <laughs> Jessica Louise Rainford. <laughs> Ifa Ilem Kalila Ramley. <laughs> Harini Ravi. Catherine Ann Rawson. <laughs> Emma Mary Louise Reed Watson. 
Benjamin John Riley. <laughs> Senior Scholar of Science, Daniel James Resnick. <laughs> Hayden Philip Reynolds. <laughs> Jason Lee Roberts. <laughs> Rachel Lee Robson. Stefan Rodriguez. <laughs> Voltim Rodriguez. <laughs> Peter James Rosser. <laughs> Oduneo Amalola Boluwaran Rotimi. <laughs> Christopher Edmund Rouse. Timothy William Waddell. Ariana Ruggiero. Justin Shord Rossenhoven. Chelsea Alexandra Ryan. Tamachat Sayong. Esther Persis Samuel. Samuel. <laughs> Lena Sawari. <laughs> Anne Catherine Verena Schlesselman. <laughs> Madeline Ruth Seaman. <laughs> Esther Kylie C. Emma Lindsay Senior. <laughs> Laura Lee Senior. <laughs> Rehan Philip Sakara. <laughs> Khalud Mamoon Ismail Sharaya. <laughs> Chen Shi. Hayley Jean Marie Shatkowski. <laughs> Chun Hao Sia. <laughs> Asma Tofik Siddiqui. <laughs> Jessica Rumi Simons. <laughs> Craig Eric Simpkins. Senior Scholar of Science, John Oliver Tanessa Sisan. Erin Georgette Skinner. Jana Helena Slats. Jason Graham Smith. Jonathan Hock Chun So. Stephanie So Yi Ting. <laughs> Vincent Sock. <laughs> Amy Francis Sutherland. <laughs> Lily Isabella Harrison Statlover. <laughs> Tracy Rochelle Steens. Stephen Alexander Stuckey. <laughs> Xiao Xian Zhu. <laughs> bon Suk Su. <laughs> ha Jiang Xiao. <laughs> Talia Sundrum. Matthew Sutton. <laughs> J. 
Joshua Douglas Symes. <laughs> Dominic Tankaheri Sintaki. <laughs> Chia Ming Tan. <laughs> Finlin Tan. <laughs> Yongshen Tang. Kimberly Tanner. <laughs> Alexandra Victoria Tava. <laughs> Yiling Tay. <laughs> Callum James Templeton. <laughs> Rajdeep Tin. Matthew Grant Toy. <laughs> Ruo Yin Tong. <laughs> Brendan Kelsey Thompson Older. <laughs> Christopher Dean Trent. <laughs> Wilson Sang. Lorraine Waimai Sai. <laughs> Nicola Tverich. <laughs> Mahadesh Velikani. <laughs> Willem Donald van der Westhusen. <laughs> Lucinda Kate van Oosterom. David William Vedder. <laughs> Hello, Ali Viliamu. <laughs> Henu Rada Harandrani Vitana Gay. <laughs> Jasmine Panina Wagner. Sarah Michelle Ann Walker. <laughs> Rosanna Fleur Walton. <laughs> Kai Wong. <laughs> Kai Lin Wang. <laughs> Li Yan Wang. Lu Wang, Zing Yu Wang, Lu Wang, Wang Zidong. Rhiannon Elizabeth Webb. <laughs> Rebecca Claire Weber. <laughs> Senior Scholar of Science, Donald Hilton White. <laughs> Whitney Chelsea Whitford. Kassin Shaminda Wickramarachi. <laughs> Katrina Wijaya. <laughs> Monica Wijaya. <laughs> Alexander Lee Wilkinson. <laughs> Charles Andrew Wilkinson. Amber Sophie Campbell-Williams. 
Rebecca Natalie Bowen Williams. <laughs> Sheila Wan Chi Wong. Wendy May Wong. Brooke William Wright. Ji Hua Wu. Zachariah Gilmer Wild. Lilit Lin Jun Su. Zinji Su. Jinju Shu. Si Jun Yan. Kao Yang. Yang Yang. Yu Yang. Chen Chen Yao. Naibo Yin. Guan Yong. Nancy Solan Young. Chun Yin Yu. Wang Shu Yu. Ling Jung Zhang. Run Long Chang. Si Wan Chang. Xiao Chang. Zhao Yuan Chang. Chen Xiao, <laughs> Fanny Sheng, <laughs> Amy Rachel Chu, <laughs> Ming Yu Xu, <laughs> Zhu Xing Feng. Yuan Ying Su, <laughs> Sasha Christopher Zona, Thank you, Vice Chancellor, for conferring the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of the ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Yoon B. G on cello, accompanied by Kent Isamura on piano, will now perform Cantabile by Niccolò Paganini.
I'm sure many of you in the audience will have recognised that particularly evocative piece of music and it was played beautifully. Uh, can I ask you to show your appreciation again to Yoon and Kent? <clears throat> Each year we have uh, memorable performances by students from our School of Music, uh, like the one you have just heard, and all graduands and their families who would like to hear further performances of that calibre are invited to attend the graduation concert at 7.30pm this Saturday evening in the Town Hall. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Roger France Chancellor, award the diplomas and confer the degrees stated upon those who within the Faculty of Science have satisfied the requirements of this university. I now call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Guildford, to present further graduands in that faculty. To the degree of Master of Bioscience Enterprise with First Class Honours, Renew Gao. Jun Yoon Kim and a postgraduate diploma in Bioscience Enterprise with Merit and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Hayden Andrew Paul. <laughs> Tom
Dilpreet Kaur and Jeet Singh, and a postgrad diploma in Bioscience Enterprise with Merit. <laughs> Yat Chi Yan. To the degree of Masters of Bioscience Enterprise with Second Class Honours, First Division, Liang Lai, and a Postgrad Diploma in Bioscience Enterprise. <laughs> Cheng Jin Lu, and a Postgrad Diploma in Bioscience Enterprise with Merit. <laughs> Nabita Budwal Singh, and a Postgrad Diploma in Bioscience Enterprise with Merit. Eugene Shear and a postgrad diploma in Bioscience Enterprise with Merit. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Bioscience Enterprise with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Zhao Xia and a postgrad diploma in Bioscience Enterprise. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Science with First Class Honours, Ong Shuang in Computer Science. University Graduate Scholar, Christine Margaret Anderson in Environmental Management. <laughs> Douglas Joseph Angus in Psychology. <laughs> Edward Paul Beetham in Geography. <laughs> Jacob David Bellamy McIntyre in Computer Science. Lynn B. in Medical Statistics. <laughs> Rikas Botha in Biomedical Science. <laughs> Haley Faith Butler in Health Psychology. <laughs> Amanda Marie Gades in Geography. Yong Gao in Statistics. <laughs> Rui Gong in Computer Science. <laughs> Anna Mary Griffiths in Health Psychology. <laughs> Lee Guan in Computer Science. Sunkita Saiki Howard in Marine Science. <laughs> Richard Hayden Hughes in Marine Science with a postgrad diploma in Science with Merit in Marine Science. <laughs> Victoria Margaret Jollans in Environmental Management. <laughs> Linda Joyce in Statistics. Wendy Hinamawana Kearns in Biological Sciences. <laughs> Thomas Lucien Clem in Mathematics. <laughs> Henrietta Hinting Lee in Speech Science. <laughs> Yan Feng Lee in Computer Science. Carmen Chia Wern Lim in Medical Statistics. <laughs> Min Huang Yuan in Computer Science. <laughs> Victor Oblonkin in Biological Sciences. <laughs> Sharon Sung Yun Park in Biomedical Science. Bhakti Naren Patel in Marine Science. <laughs> Nicole and Patterson in Psychology. <laughs> Lynn 
Manya Sabawal in Biological Sciences. Arman Saisani in Psychology. <laughs> Anish Shkaria in Medical Statistics and a Bachelor of Science Honours with Second Class Honours, Second Division in Statistics and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Joanne Soper in Biosecurity and a Postgrad Diploma in Science in Biosecurity. Philip Stephen Vlaskowski in Statistics. <laughs> Kian Wang in Statistics. <laughs> Michael Han Liang Yap in Biological Sciences. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Science with Second Class Honours, First Division, Lauren Julie Ainsworth in Food Science and a Postgrad Diploma in Science with Merit in Food Science. <laughs> Yan Chen in Biomedical Science. <laughs> Xu Kong Fu in Statistics. Leon Greener in Biomedical Science and a Postgrad Diploma in Science with Merit in Biomedical Science. <laughs> Ruolfi Huang in Statistics. <laughs> Ruohan Zhang in Biomedical Science. <laughs> Alan John Keegan in Statistics. Lee Lian Hoi in Computer Science. <laughs> Win Bo Lu in Computer Science. <laughs> Marie Teresa Fotuimawa, Meredith in Environmental Science. <laughs> Joanne May Palmer in Mathematics. Eric Ray in Chemistry. Christopher John Hugh Ritchie in Geology. Poonam Sharma in Environmental Science. University Graduate Scholar Caleb John Norris Chardin in Marine Sciences. Stefan George Vedi in Sport and Exercise Science. <laughs> Lin Chin Chu in Biosecurity. <laughs> Bo Yu in Chemistry and a Postgrad Diploma in Science and Chemistry. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Science with Second Class Honours Second G Division, Sarona Samalolu and Rosa Awina in Biosecurity. Yu Yang Buan in Statistics. Heather Leslie Goody in Environmental Science and a Postgrad Diploma in Science with Distinction in Environmental Science. <laughs> Kamege Somasira Gunaratna in Chemistry. <laughs> Yujia Go in Food Science. <laughs> Shada Barden Hancock in Forensic Science. Keith Raymond Isaac in Physics. <laughs> Eric Charles Marr in Medical Statistics and a Postgrad Diploma in Science in Medical Statistics and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Lloyd Jonathan Taylor Matthews in Wine Science and a Postgrad Diploma in Science with Merit in Wine Science. Juan C. Vinci Tam in Psychology. <laughs> Ma 
Ming Di Wang in computer science, and a postgrad diploma in science in computer science, and a graduate diploma in science. <laughs> Monique Petronella, Wheat in environmental science. <laughs> Ying Chu in statistics. To the degree of Master of Science, Devi Sundari Samanathan in Biological Sciences. I now call upon the Vice Chancellor to present the doctoral graduates. Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you the doctoral graduates. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Imran Khalik in Computer Science. Imran, investiga Imran investigated infinite games played on finite graphs to model problems in automatic verification, model checking, automata and formal logics. His work uses intricate techniques in modern mathematical logic and computability. Masood Khosravani Mogadam in computer science. Masood presented some novel algorithms for designing communication networks of lower cost and higher efficiency. Masood. <laughs> Kerry Fong Chow Lam in chemistry. Kerry investigated two classes of New Zealand marine alkaloids for their potential as anti-tumour and anti-malarial drug candidates. <laughs> Chuan Ching Lan in Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Chuan Ching used the small freshwater vertebrate species zebrafish to examine genetic and environmental factors that could be manipulated in order to model inflammatory bowel disease. <laughs> Dane Sonia Larson in Food Science, University Doctoral Scholar. Dane investigated the changes occurring in New Zealand king salmon under thermal treatment and developed model systems to understand the role of astaxanthin in lipid oxidation and its potential as a future natural antioxidant. <laughs> Kelvin E. Ming Lau in Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Kelvin established and applied a microarray-based system to investigate global gene expression in Acidivorax temperans, a bacterium commonly found in wastewater treatment systems. His work provides insights into the control of microbial processes that are relevant to treatment system performance. Catherine Francis Lomas in Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Catherine investigated the function and structure of the auditory system of the Auckland tree wetter with a view to determining how wetter are able to hear so well given that they have such large and thick eardrums. During the course of her research, Catherine discovered a previously undescribed auditory organ within the ear that sits within a previously undescribed lipid channel. The presence of lipid within the ear is a trait wetter appear to share only with toothed whales. <laughs> Olga Makotkina in chemistry. 
Olga developed novel sensing methods for the analysis of wine antioxidants and has shown that refrigeration, more so than oxidation or screw caps, is the critical factor for prolonging the shelf life of Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc wine. Olga. <laughs> Stefan Marx in computer science. Stefan investigated aspects of non-verbal communication in virtual environments and developed a cost-efficient and easy-to-use simulator for medical teamwork training that supports non-verbal communication cues like head gestures or facial expressions. Paul Richard McAlpine in Sports and Exercise Science, University Doctoral Scholar. Paul conducted a series of field-based experiments that aimed to build upon the limited data available on the external loads applied to the body during snowboarding jumping manoeuvres and the influence of equipment modification on these measures. This information will guide the design of new equipment and injury prevention strategies in this sport. Claire Eleanor Francis Rye in Chemistry, University Doctoral Scholar. Claire developed new synthetic methods that enable the preparation of a number of biologically active natural products with a view to developing new therapeutic agents. <laughs> Anasuya Sachithanan Thasifam in food science, university doctoral scholar. Anu investigated the fundamental mechanisms by which additive components during bread manufacture with a view to developing a functional bread. Anu. Andrew Sue in biological sciences, university doctoral scholar. Andrew investigated the ability of proteins produced by Pseudomonas bacteria to block HIV replication by influencing gene expression in human cells. <laughs> Yi Jing Tsai in Mathematics, University Doctoral Scholar. Angela investigated new types of highly accurate computational methods for the numerical solution of ordinary and partial differential equations with a view to increasing the feasibility and efficiency of solutions. <laughs> Arif Allah in Physics. Arif investigated the boundaries between classical and quantum physics, where he performed a detailed investigation of a quantum system with a chaotic classical equivalent. <laughs> Pre Utami in geology. Pre showed how secondary minerals that form by interactions between fluids and rocks in a geothermal reservoir can be used to determine how a geothermal system changes during its lifetime. <laughs> Chandra Rani Vithanage in Physics. Chandra investigated whether the limits of the shear and compression forces can be applied in packing, transportation and storage without damaging their microstructure and texture to soft, solid food products. Chandra. <laughs> Sir Ying Yuen in chemistry University Doctoral Scholar, Bright Future Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. So Ying's re research focused on the development of methodology for the direct chemical synthesis of picacillospirone, a rare and naturally occurring compound 
which targets cell replication and may be used as a potential anti-cancer drug. See. And in absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or the award of a diploma. On behalf of the university, I now invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. And this would be an ideal opportunity for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who have helped them as they achieve their qualifications. This concludes this meeting of Council on Convocation of the University for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to sing the first verse of God Defend New Zealand in Māori and then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your programs. better tools in the hands of clinicians and therapists so that they can help their patients get back to as normal a life as possible after stroke.